Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, it's been a few weeks. Um, got a couple of new molds in. I'm going to show, uh, make a short little video. The shop's still a mess. I honestly plan on cleaning and straightening this mess up this weekend. I mean, just... I've got more molds and I just I hadn't made uh hadn't cleaned up you know to get them organized yet still got all my cups and everything I mean it's it's a mess um I'm gonna get to it like I say hopefully this weekend I'll be off so hopefully I'll have that done um I'm just gonna make a simple color already got the plastic heating up uh, and honestly it's just the color is just going to be clear with flake alright let's see how clear it is but let's see here yeah I'm just going I've done some colors or uh, done a mix similar to this before uh, I'm just going to use red and black flake like I say, it's real simple, but it it looks pretty good. Um, only difference is, usually I use a, a large red, a large black, and then a real small red and small black. This time I'm gonna use a a string. I hadn't I haven't used the uh, string flake yet, so I figured I'd give it a give it a try and see. I mean. It's pretty much, I might use, keep these for my personal use. I mean, we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna do a, uh, do a couple of the, the uh, hog salads. Uh, that's a new mold I got. It's actually made by a gentleman that don't even make molds for a living. He just, made a couple molds to see if he could do it and he actually done a very good job i mean he done a real good job all right let's mix this up and see if we need to add more i might add a little bit more flake because that there ain't near enough of course that's a that's a cup and a half so yeah i'm gonna add more at least more of the big stuff Another little scoop. But, I'm, say I'm just going to try to do a quick little video. Just show these couple of new, new molds and uh, put some content up. Like I say, it's been, a, it's been a few weeks. So, you know, I try to, I try to do them every chance I get. But, I mean, you know how life is. I mean, it gets gets busy. Go ahead and add some more string. It ain't gonna hurt anything. I mean, I would say you can't add too much flake, but that'd be a lie, because I mean, I have done it. You can add too much flake where it takes away from it. Um, I have, I ain't gonna say wasted plastic, but I have just about messed up before by adding way too much flake because sometimes it takes away from it and sometimes it added to it i mean it depends on what you're doing this right here though i think it's gonna look pretty good Let's see if we can get you a good i mean it's got a lot but it looks pretty good let's see check the temperature on try not to make you dizzy on this moving around of the camera it's still 320 let's see if we can get you in an angle maybe i won't be in the way i haven't tried shooting both molds yet with one oh yeah don't have plenty of plastic 
I wasn't quite sure yet, but oh yeah, there's enough I could shoot three of these molds. Top them all. And if you can't tell I made uh I built me a a handle which actually works really well. Um we'll give this a second. It shouldn't take too long and then we'll disassemble and see uh see what she looks like i poured um uh, i've shot quite a few of these worms so far and they actually do really good so uh this mold is actually a very good shooting mold uh the gentleman that made them i was so impressed because he he don't make molds for a living that's just something he just started doing to see if he could actually make it with the stuff he has and i mean it's some of the nicest molds um i personally received all the corners are just perfectly rounded uh as far as the secure it was secured by six of the nuts uh which i don't use them but I mean that is nice some of the molds you get don't have enough and they will end up flashing i mean i've gotten a couple of the fat guys fishing molds that if you don't put an extra clamp on it just using the the little nuts that it comes with they'll flat um you'll get flashing with them same with uh i got an angling ai um i got an angling ai atomic toad the four cavity with the um with the little nuts that secure it together if you ain't careful it'll flash so but i don't use them i clamp all mine down but uh anyway in a minute i'll show you the inside of this mold and it's it's pretty impressive i like it um the other addition i got and it is just a they're a little bit small but i mean i so far i've been impressed with them they're just your little four inch you know jerk bait flute style jerk baits i went with a four inch um i wasn't sure about going with this style uh this is actually by do it molds um i wasn't sure about this style i was going to go with you know a more uh like angling ai or one of those companies but you know i was looking at the price and it's not very often i would actually act uh shoot these baits or or even use them because personally i don't really use the jerk baits um i actually throw on my first four inch jerk bait yesterday just to see how it moved but uh anyway i went with two of these because i could get two of the do it uh do it molds for about the same price i can get a sing uh one angling ai I say five cavity mold you know but i've actually been impressed with it, it shoots really good um it does pretty good they're they're small compact so that's something else i added all right this should be this should be ready we'll we'll look at them now the air clamp that's something that's hard to beat let's see open these up and good super clear that's i mean i like i like uh i like dead on plastics you know they make good products but this bait plastics is also hard to beat i mean it's super clear um let me pull these off and then i'll actually go in more detail show you the mold and we'll try not to make this video too long um uh, I get real winded and want to just talk too much. But anyway, lay them out. But that clear 
looks real good the hog salad is actually it's a six and a half inch uh, worm and it's actually let's see if you can see it but it actually is a uh, like a pretty much if you remember the uh, little culprit worm that's pretty much all it is is a uh, is a culprit worm but a little six and a half because I've been wanting to get a smaller you know ribbon tail style bait um, I have the seven inch which is bass tackle it's the uh, seven inch but technically when you when you have the worm like these hang six and a half the seven inch when you got it hanging it's really like over nine inches but anyway let me get back to the mold but I mean I was super impressed the uh, the gentleman that made it I mean he done a fantastic job uh, same when you look at the vents and everything that's I mean you will uh, you could pretty much make this bait any color you want do change the tail out anything because it's got so much venting that it's not you should never have a problem um i've actually you know i told the the gentleman that made it i mean this is probably one of the nicest molds i've ever uh bought as far as the machine work and i mean how well everything is done i mean it's it's really nice um now i'm not I'm not taking away from some of the other uh, guys. I mean, I've got stuff from Dark Horse. Um, I got Epic Bait Molds. They make great molds. Um, Do It Molds. Bass Tackle. Fat Guys Fishing. Uh, BTS Molds. Um, Enforcer. I mean, I've got molds from almost every one, you know, that... Uh, and there's some great molds out there but for a guy that don't really do it and this is something that he was just trying to do um i mean my hat's off to him fantastic job i mean i wish i had me a little uh machine where i could cut me some molds say probably save me money in the long run um but anyway this is i say this is the mold the guy he does an awesome job on it. Um, I'm actually very impressed. I will purchase some more molds from him later on if he uh, if he decides he wants to, you know, if it's something he decides he wants to get into and actually, you know, try to start doing. Um, I would be glad to purchase more molds from him just because I mean that's he done such a great job i mean and got on it real quick i mean he was because what i did first i bought one i bought one of his molds um and i asked him if i buy one and i like it would i be able to buy another one and i got the first one in uh he built it got it in poured a few of them tried it out and i'm like man that's awesome man uh, I bought another one. I actually paid for it that day. He made it and shipped it out the next day. So I mean, he he done a good job. Um, I don't know if he if he sells to the public, like uh, as far as like making a bunch of stuff or not. But uh, I'm trying to see if I can. Yeah, his name you can probably find him on facebook billy cody is what he goes by on facebook and that's you know like i say he ain't got no business no website or nothing like that it's just somebody that happened to be making a mold and i saw it and i messaged him asking if i could buy one uh but anyway i'm gonna wrap this video up i said i wasn't gonna make it too long uh, well i guess i could have i guess i could have shot a couple of these but everybody knows what what these look like well, all right. I'm gonna reheat the plastic. And I'll shoot a, um, I'll shoot one to four inch real quick, and then I'll end the video. All right. Well, I could have left the camera rolling. I mean, that took exactly one minute to reheat, and 
So we'll we'll shoot one of these real quick. I mean, they don't take much plastic at all. Top them off real good. When I've done this. I actually done this. Uh, this blend is a a cross between a medium and a soft. I just mix it up 50/50. Uh, that's a good thing about Plastisol. You can. I mean, you ain't just got to stick with what you buy. I mean, any of it, you can pretty much mix them together. Uh, mix soft with medium, uh, medium with hard. Uh, some people probably won't recommend it. I have mixed up my, uh, just experimenting, trying it out. I have mixed up my dead-on plastics with bait plastics cooked it up to see how it would do and it does just fine so i mean like i say a lot of people will probably frown on that won't uh won't recommend it but it held up just fine worked good um there's nothing wrong with it um yeah hope we're gonna give that about one more minute and hopefully it'll be ready i mean i was like trying not to drag it out i know this video is going to be probably close to 20 minutes long and uh honestly i could have everything i did i could have done it in probably five minutes i just started talking and you know i, I know how it is i start running my mouth and and after a while because you got a lot of you got a lot of people online man they make they make a lot of videos that's short and i think that's why they get a i don't know it makes me wonder if that's why they get a, a huge fan base because there's some of these people that can make videos and they got the editing software and all they can make the, their videos in five to ten minutes i mean they put a lot of content in it but they're cutting out a lot of this useless stuff like i mean for example this video right here could have probably been cut down to about five to eight minutes uh and it still can man i'm just being lazy if i was to actually research and figure out the proper way to do editing um i could probably figure it out matter of fact give uh if anybody that's watching these videos know uh how to do a lot of youtube stuff as far as editing and what uh what apps and software to use shoot me a comment i mean i'd like to look it up and figure it out um you know it makes me wonder if 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 it's because i'm i'm being cheap and going with just the free apps or if it's something i actually need to pay for i mean you know this uh the free app i'm using is i mean it's kind of hard to figure out how to edit stuff out you know so it might just be because it's a cheap free app but uh anyway i think it's been enough time we fixing to open one of these up all right bear with me get it Let's see if we can get set up without making you dizzy i know uh i moved that camera around a lot try to see I mean they're super clear oh I like that plastics and I'm not down in anybody that's ever used it but uh when I first started out I was trying to use a uh that plastic from like lure work spike it or whatever and man I tell you what I I did not like it it clouded it 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 wasn't real clear you know it just it, it didn't like me and I didn't like it but and those things are super clear try to get real close up on one see I mean but anyway it don't look bad at all I mean clear like that don't look bad at all what I'll probably do with those uh, with these baits right here 
always when I do uh, custom orders and I do like I do a lot of uh, auctions on Facebook you know on marketplace I do a lot of auctions so most likely what I'll do with these is on like one of my auctions that is uh you know that's been sold I always throw in bonus baits with pretty much every order only time I don't throw in a bonus bait is if the auction sells way cheaper than I was hoping for and I actually lose money then I sometimes I won't throw in the bonus baits you know uh, but you don't always win I mean a lot of times I make good money uh, make my money but they will be sometimes that you won't make nothing I mean you'll you'll have enough just to cover shipping you know but anyway you win some and you lose some but uh all right we're gonna wrap this video up um hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it wasn't too long for you um just mainly came out here trying to get one done because it's been a few weeks um i appreciate y'all staying tuned um if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down uh feel free to leave some comments uh share it subscribe um anyway i'll try to i'm planning on but i know how things change i'll try to get another video made roughly in about a week uh hopefully by the end the shop will be cleaned up and i'll you know be able to show you a better display of what's going on all right thank you